Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 195 of Terraria 1.3. So last episode we made a little rinky dink arena, and again, it's really rinky dink. We'll, we'll learn from it later, I'm not overly worried about it, but the main goal is to avoid the lasers from the Moon Lord during the fight, and I will probably end up doing a little bit of this, like running away with the uh, the UFO mount, teleporting back, talking to the nurse. We'll put the uh, the cell phone like on my hotbar. We'll, we'll talk to her, we'll heal up. Of course, Moon Lord teleports like, to you almost instantly, but it should give me a couple seconds of free time. And then we'll continue to kill him. I need to go put the lanterns down, I need to put the bed down. I also want to put a hole in the roof so we can try to shoot through it a little bit. I don't know how well that'll go, because of course if he shoots his laser down through there, it will get you. It, it, it's like a beam, it's like a death beam. I mean, I think you I think you get that. It does a lot of damage. I think it, I think it can two hit me, maybe. I don't think I've ever been one hit by it, but... I'm pretty sure it can at least two hit me. It's it's not fun to get hit by. You don't want you don't want to do that. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, let's put it like right here, and I will actually make platforms just in case. That way I can fall through it or walk across it if I find myself up top. Also, let's plop down our heart lanterns. One on the edge. One on uh, this one, like right here. She be doing her weird goofy attack. And how far does this extend? I don't lose my buff. No buff was lost, so until it's like off screen almost, yeah, we got plenty of room. And then we can hang this one at the other end of the, like the little thing right here. It's a little bit of space inefficiency, but I'm not worried about it. We, I don't think we're going to extend the arena that far. Should be A-OK. -okay. So the beds may have to increase the size of the house, or be smart and just scoot some furniture around, so let's do just that first. Scooch and bed, and of course as soon as I right click that, that becomes my spawn point. For now, I'll leave it alone. I won't change my spawn. I don't think there's a point just yet. Three thousand, roughly three thousand bullets plus all of the arrows we have should be enough to try and take him down. Obviously, I'm not going to fight him just yet. We have to go deal with another pillar. Which pillar do we want to deal with first? Hmm. Solar, probably, because I like the way it looks a lot, and it is sort of challenging. How close is one of my teleporters? Oh, it's looking like it's a little closer, yeah, to the jungle one. So, let's go home. And I did not put away the Cursed Flames because I ran out of space over here. Do I have another spot? I thought I freed one up. Yeah, I did, but that'll obviously be the other set of fragments. The Nelly Presence won't be in here for long. Once we obviously go through the event, we should get rid of those. Yeah, I, I know I don't really need half of that stuff, but I kind of want to keep it. I think I'm going to add another chest here. Do I have another shadow chest? Maybe? Yes. I, it, it won't be perfectly symmetrical, but I think I'm just going to slap one right here. Or maybe, better yet, put a couple more down there. Or, 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 we could do the same thing with gold chests. Or, ooh, I like the ice chests. Ice chests are pretty. Why do that? I mean, like, we can we can put some chests over here. Obviously, I can go get a couple more if need be. Why don't I do something like this? Just to there, there. That way it's still that's that way it's still symmetrical, still symmetrical. OCD is pleased. OCD is pleased. <laughs> Just keeping the world happy. Uh, let's eat some pumpkin pie because that buff lasts basically forever. And you know, I mean, I guess yeah. I'll use the I'll use a, a, a thing of buffs depending on how many wrath potions. And we got five, but I did get a handful of ebon coys last episode. Of course, since we did that fishing quest, that's when we got a few. Let's go test the waters. Let's, I mean, this is one of the, I would say, this can be a difficult one. You can't fly with this one. You don't want to buzz around. You got to stay grounded. You have to do enough damage to pretty much keep things off your butt. And things are all <laughs> things are all over our butt over here. There's, there's a lot of butt action. Giggity. It's not going to be overly fun. But we, we'll give it a go. I hope I don't die, because I don't want to lose my boss. Obviously, that's that's just no fun. Keep that vortex beater at the ready. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the background is changing. So we don't want to go up in the air, because those centipede things, I forget what they're called, we'll kill one, and I'll see the name thingy here soon. Right there. Crawl to be, yeah, you don't want to go high. Sometimes they will randomly latch on you, even though you're not what I would consider flying. But that's... Nothing I can really deal with. Nothing I can do about that. Hopefully we get some banners, oh god! You know, the Stardust thingy should do work against this. Absolutely, because he's segmented. Ow. 
So a lot of these dudes do massive amounts of damage. Nimbus Rod is love. Oh, shoot. Well, let's try the Electric Sphere on them. I'm interested to see what that does. Oh, wow. You're, you're annoying. Because I'm not hitting you rapidly. But the Electric Sphere, it doesn't... Electric Sphere doesn't work well on you. You can also only hit that thing's butt. Oh, I guess no. That, that's right. The Stardust Dragon wouldn't do much damage to him. Because the Crawltipedes... They're just called a Crawltipede. Okay, yes. It's a Crawltipede. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to that. Those things, you can only hit him in the butt. <laughs> There's this red blinking thingy on their butt, and that's the only thing that you can hit. It's pretty annoying. Let's just, just, yeah, just, just, just stay here. Let's not go too far into the event. And if I, if I start noticing the little beamy things disappear, then we know we did good. And we know we did good. Oh goodness, those dudes that come flying at you. You gotta watch out for those. You got there's, there's dudes right there. Can't wait till I get a banner against you guys. You can also do some cheese here. I mean, I can dig into this wall. Most of these enemies, I don't think, go through the wall. Minus the crawl speeds, which is super annoying because the crawl speeds, if I start flying out of here, then they'll just wreck my face. It's not fun having your face wrecked. It's not fun. And this just gives me a good spot to put banners down. Yay! Those dudes, those are the ones that go through the wall that I forgot about. You are a bastard. But let's just free launcher. We'll do work against you. Hey, show me your butt. I need to shoot it. Thank you. you shoot that ass. Mmm. That ass. How close am I to a banner? Probably not really. Eight, nine. And uh, what about you? The same dude. Crawl the beads. Corites. Corites. Oh my god, I like Corites. Is it Corites I don't like? Ow! You can see how they do lots of, lots and lots of damage. Owie. Brings up an interesting idea. Yes, yeah, Corites. I don't like Corites. Corites are jerks. Corites, please! Corites, please. Corite, please. No, crawl to beat. Crawltipede, you're just being shenanigans. You're not supposed to follow me down here. So you're, you're seeing what I don't like about Crawltipedes. They have like an elevation thingy that if you go over it, they just start going crazy. And like, again, wrecking your face. And that one went, I think that one attacked me a little prematurely. Maybe. Maybe. I, I want to heal, but we don't have that much time. And I feel like something's going to kill me first, like a Corite or that thing. Oh, that's right. That thing deflects bullets when you shoot it and when it's barrel rolling like that. Ah, that's why... I that's why I used to not want to use the sniper against them, because the bullet will ricochet and just destroy you. Yeah, gotta be careful. Nope, nope, too high for the crawl to beat. Hope you don't like that. So you have to jump to dodge enemies, of course, and then when you jump to dodge an enemy, what do you get? You get crawl to beat it in the face. Not fun. Drop some hearts for me, please. I, I, I could go for some hearts over there. You guys wanna give me some love? No? No love? I'm not feeling it either. That's a heart? Hard. Okay, let's just let's just be cautious. Be careful. And I do want to see if I kill another one. If a beam of red comes out of him still, for the pillar. Yep, the pillar still be up and it's strong. I don't think we made that much damage or that much progress yet. This one you have to take pretty slow, I think. At least I would prefer. Crawl to bead. Stop. Stop it. Stop talking, crawl to bead. I know you don't talk, but just stop. Stop what you're doing. I love the Stardust Track. I'm just gonna hide in a corner and let it kill everything. <laughs> that thing is too freaking good. Do I have any banners yet? No, I do not. It makes me sad. Get out of here, whatever you are. What? Crawl to peak kill count zero? Can you know? Interesting. Crawl to peak kill count zero. And it didn't go up when I just killed it. Normally, when there's no banner available, it says kill count unavailable. Is it impossible to get a... Looks like it's impossible to get a crawl to beat banner. Oh, I hate you. I hate when you do that. You spawn below me. You rat bastard. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt because he's going to kill me. Go! Maximum cheese! <laughs> so I could talk to the nurse and I could heal up. Or I could just be cheesy and teleport home and drop some shit off. I don't feel like dying. That'd be, that'd be a waste of time. And a waste of buffs, more importantly. But yeah. That one gets hairy very quickly. As soon as you go up over a certain elevation, crawl defeats are all up in your grill. And that's not fun. So let's go talk to the nurse because she's far away and I would like to heal because healing takes forever. Plus, of course, I use a shiny stone. Still takes a while. <laughs> let's just talk to the nurse. Yep. This is not one of my favorite pillars to deal with. The next one I hate even more, though. Stupid nebula one. All right. Let's just teleport back. Oh god, I love having the teleporter system up and running. It's so good. Imagine having to run back every time. 
like later game when we're farming these pillars. Could you imagine every time running back and forth the pillars? Eh, I get pretty old pretty quick, I think. Hey, get wrecked. I didn't even get a chance to use a stupid. I didn't even get a chance to use a Nimbus rod against you. You just kind of died. I'll take it. I'm okay with this. Alright, we're already almost there. Like, right here is when they start killing me. Yes, sir. -y. Nimbus rod, get you down. Crawl to feed, shoot you in Alright, stop! Get out of the walls! I had to jinx it and say I don't think there's anything that can shoot me through a wall, but those dudes exist. For all to feed, I'm not above elevation. You knocked it off. You saw how he got pissy right there. I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. That, that's what I think about you. I'm gonna shoot you in the ass. That dog just started glitching in and out of the wall right there. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Corite, get wrecked. Yeah, I'm kind of saddened by the lack of crawl to feed banner potential. I wonder if I shave everything off here. Giggity. <laughs> All these, like, innuendos that I don't even try to do. I wonder if I shave some of the dirt off here. If that would help the crawl to beats, because we're not going up too high. Obviously, I need to get rid of what's above it, because we need to be able to kill those annoying Korites, because they fly through walls. But I wonder if this will help. Korite! Fucking stop! No one likes Korites! Not even Korites like Korites! Holy shit, I just hit a 6,000. Unless that was two hits in a row. That didn't seem right. That doesn't seem right to me. Unless he just takes more damage. I want, I want to see what happens if I shoot another crawl speed in the butt. That was weird. That was really weird. Crawl to speed, where you at? Crawl to speed, please. Crawl to pit, crawl, crawl to peed, please. It's such a weird name. Here, I'll fly around a little bit for you to make you mad. Crawl to peed, where are you? Crawl to has given up. At least the rain stopped. Rain is super annoying. Oh, nope, crawl to peed's here. Oh my god, yeah, I just I, that's definitely a 7,040 right there. What the hell? Let's stand still. 10,000? I guess for some reason he takes extra damage? Not entirely sure why, but I won't complain. Okay, these dudes are still dropping those red sparkly thingies, so the shield's still up and functional. I have 30 seconds on a heal, I have to be careful. I guess I should pop the shiny stone. Just sit around here more often. These chlorites aren't bum rushing me, because you start taking lots of, or you start taking lots and lots of HP when you sit still with this thing. So you see my regen up there. Particularly when I stand still, I get my my set bonus effect. Yeah, not bad. Or of course we can just leave the event area and come back. That saves me from having to teleport. I like it. I like it. I like it. Crawl to Ugh. Oh, why did home in on you? Home in on the crawl to no, Get away from me, fireball of death. Fireball of death. Nobody likes you. Korites, nobody likes you. Ooh, I am two kills away from a Korite banner. That's going to make me happy. Stand still, stand still. Boom, 8K. 8.7K. Oh, God. Stop spawning down below me. That's unfair. Is he dead? I don't even have to try. <laughs> I love glorified bullets. Korite, I need one more. One more. Oh, God. This will help. Korite, the one time I want you to spawn, will you just spawn? You get out of here. I don't like you guys. You're just, you're just annoying. You do that weird roll thingy. There's my Korite banner. Yes! Oh god. Double Korites. They want their banner back. They can't have it. They can't have it. They can't have it. I just healed. I just healed and the crawl speed is mad. I just healed and the crawl speed is mad. Alright. Let's 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 fend them off as we regen. Let's also see if we get a banner. Or if the portal thingy's up. Nope. He didn't shoot the little red sparkly thingy, so the portal is down. The shield. I don't want to keep going to the portal. The shield be down. All right. Regen. I'll wait till we have at least like 450 before we take it off and move in. Then we can just break down the pillar, which will be annoying because we're going to be dealing with crawl to peeds. Yep. Yep. That's a thing. Take this off, and I mean, we could just make this our un unofficial area to farm. Doesn't really matter too much. The pillars, I think, can shift, though. A, a, a little. They don't vary too much in position, but I don't think we're guaranteed to have them in exactly the same spot. Look at that one hit on a Korite. That's what I want to see. Nobody likes Korites. Not even Korites like Korites. Okay, you are definitely not high enough. I think what it does is it detects the block that's directly underneath it. And if, if you're over a certain elevation to that block, then it goes hard at you. So it was like, oh, look at this ravine. All right, clearly I'm, I'm super close and should be coming after you. I don't think their elevation is tied to, like... The value up here, where it says surface. I could be wrong. Alright, I want to push that freaking pillar. You guys. Okay, that dude's killing me. You see that? How he reflected all those bullets? 
That is what I strongly dislike about these enemies. Let's move, because I didn't even get there. I'm already almost dead. No, you stop spinning! No, nobody like your spinny shit. No, 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 I'm not even in the event area. I'm not even in the event area! Get out of here! Just stand still. We got this. Just stand still, regen a little bit. Save our health potion, or health potion, you know, when we go in there. All of our buffs have worn off, I realize, but I do not want to waste it for just the pillar. What if you could go up in the sky if only crawl the beach would spawn? That is an interesting question that I'm not really, really, yeah. I'm not that concerned. Not risking it for that. No, Corite. Corites. Oh, you're not a Corite, you're a weird thing. I don't know what you are. You guys have weird names. Extra Sphere Launcher. Nope, 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 nope. Crawl to peep. Nope. 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 See, this is, this, is, this is why I can't have nice things. This is why I can't have nice things. So I have to dodge, and the crawl to peep comes after me. Alright, there's the fragments. No more crawl to beats, please. 56? Okay, maybe I was off on the uh, count. I thought it was like 30 to 50. Maybe it's more. Clearly it's more. Hey, you. No, nobody like you. 36 scrollers. Scrollers? That's a weird word. Scroller. Alright, those enemies be weird. Be dangerous. All that jazz. Let's teleport home. I can make some stuff with my fragments, and I can also turn and exchange plant. And we can hope for phase die. Phase die! Where are you? <laughs> it's been a while, phase die. I, I do miss you. Hades die! I think I've had that before in this series, right? Maybe? Unless I'm mistaking of another one. Doesn't look like I thought it did. I thought it was falling on fire. There's a quick stack. Ooh, the la! What do we got here? Oh, it's the what the the white flame. So it's like blue with a white flame. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, I'll take it. Actually, let's put that on. I'm curious. <laughs> oh, look at the flaming Doge. Okay, for some reason the, the flame doesn't really show. It just makes him blue. <laughs> Never mind. That makes Doge look dumb. That looks kind of cool. What about doing on the whiff does like nothing. All right, well. I don't think there's really much of a point in putting it on my armor because we're invisible 99% of the time anyway. So let's not take the twilight die off. We will quick stack any die I have. I guess I don't have shit for die. Quick stack? Okay, well I don't have twilight die down here. Hades die, there you go. All right then. Quick stack anything I have. And now with the solar fragments. I think I can make the sword or the javelin thingy. Daybreak. Solar eruption. I don't even know what half these things do because I never got the chance to play the melee character in the game. Daybreak. Rend your foes asunder with a spear of light. So that's a javelin. And that's one of the stupid um, Sun Fury, Star Fury, no, Star Fury. Why, why I can't think of the flails. And it's not something I'm overly concerned about right now. So I think I'll hang on to the fragments. I'll keep them all in one spot because that's what I want to do. Let's quick stack the pumpkins. Now again, once we kill the next pillar, that is Moon Lord Spawn. We kill, as soon as we kill it, we have a couple, I think it's maybe a minute. I don't I don't know exactly. But that event will come after, or that event will happen. Moon Lord will come after me and we have to worry about it. Until that, uh, until then I want to go and do another fishing quest because I've been lacking. I've been slacking on that. And I think we might need some bullets. We've been going through Glorify pretty quick. I, I know I have some in the, the chest, but I'll have to pull some out. Uh, potions, I should be good. Health. I said I got regen. I've got the fence. I've got shine. Just so we can see. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't mind the. What is it? Uh, actually, no. I had the reduced damage, and then I have the damage buff. So I think we're good. Heart reach potions are nice. Ammo reservation potion could be useful, just to save my chlorophyte. And I guess we have all the potions we really, really need. So I think probably in an episode or two we'll be uh we'll kill a moon lord. Oh god. Well, 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 let me rephrase this. We'll be attempting a Moonlord kill. <laughs> we will be attempting a Moonlord kill. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Been been a while since I fought him. Bombfish. I'll take it. Give me that bombfish. I'll just sell it. And the Evan Goys keep them coming. We have so many Wrath Potions on the way. So many Wrath Potions. Stop shooting me. What do you get, like, four? Five? Something like that? I think so. I think, yeah, I think so. Evan Goys last episode. You got to Got a good, good bit. Good, good, good bit. And that makes me happy because that's Wrath Potions. And Wrath Potions are damage. And that's my third purple clubber fish. What the hell? 
That's my third purple clubber, clubber fish. That's such a tongue twister. Purple clubber fish. <laughs> In the last two episodes. Why do I keep getting these things? I thought they were uncommon. I sell for like a gold a pop, so I mean, I can't really complain. And is there anything I need to reroll? I mean, let's just your launcher. What do we what do we have? Like staunch or no? We have demonic. I think was it staunch? Was that the one that we got whenever we? No, maybe that was the snowman launcher. The ice queen kept dropping the same prefix on the one item. I don't think it was that. Holy Evan you have four already. All right, I want my I want my quest fish, so I don't have to go down there and pick up all the loot. There's another Evan I have this problem where there's just too much damn loot down there. And a Toxicarp? Come on, RNG Jesus. That's got to be more rare than the quest fish. What are you doing in your, with your life? Stop coming after me. Stop. Oh, looks like my... Uh, oh, there's another purple clubber fish. That's four in two episodes. I think my one buff wore off. Yep, bewitching has worn off. That sucks. Wow, corrupt goldfish banner. We're going to have more dead goldfish down there. <laughs> because that thing's going to be doing double damage to them. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, you know, let's, let's, I guess let's hammer this. And we'll put that banner right here, so there, there's, there's more damage, not that we needed it. I just thought of something. We are, uh, we're using journeyman bait, so our drop should be a little bit better. Or at least, I think our halt, I think our catch is quicker. It seems to be that way anyway. Hey, there's another corrupt crate. Corrupt crate. Yeah, we've upgraded our bait since the last episode. I'm not using the master bait, but I have so much journeyman bait. I'm not, I, want, I want to get rid of it all. I want to let it just sit there and go to waste. I can't wait till we can start using, like, Master Bait. I mean, I can use it now, but... Until I have a good reason, like, I'm actually farming for something in specific, I'll just hold off for now. I can't believe I haven't got this quest fish yet. The game is just being a douche. <laughs> the game is just being a douche. Jar and Jesus hates me. Confirmed. Look, look at all the amazing stuff it's giving me. Just not the one thing we need. Angler fish banners, I am at the point in the game where I am just like considering storing you because I keep getting nothing but those banners. Well, that's partly my fault because of all the water we got here, but damn. Get wrecked. I am attempting to stay low to the water so that he, the starter's dragon, will go down there and kill stuff. And there he goes. You go, girl. <laughs> that, of course, is free cash. What are you doing? What? Nine Evan Coys? What? The one time, like, I'm not specifically fishing for an Evan Koi. And what do I get? Nine Evan Koi, three, armor, three armored things, uh, three armored cave fish, three clubber fish. I thought that was a second Toxic Heart, but I'm mistaken. There's ten Evan Koi's. What the H? Another arm. Oh my god. This is like the fishing quest from hell all over again. I'm trying to give up. A golden crate? Are you kidding me right now? I feel like we're definitely getting hauls quicker. Like, we're, we're getting a bite on the line faster with this bait. It could also be the phases of the moon. We have 142 fish power right now. That's probably got a lot to do with it. But damn. Like, almost as, almost as instantly as I throw this thing in the water, do we get a bite. Look at that. Evan Koi. Like, wait, wait a second. There's another catch. One, two, three. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like three seconds. Yeah, about three seconds. Oh my god, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Alright, we're, we're only going to do a couple more catches before I give up on this quest because the game is being mean. And it does this periodically where you just have to... You have to admit defeat, otherwise you'd be here all day. Holy armored cave fish, man. I have so many endurance potions. Like, I don't even need these anymore. Another Evan Koi! 13 Evan Koi's! What? Before another <laughs> purple clover fish. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, my inventory can't handle this. I can't handle this. No, you get out of No. Stop that. All right, let's just start putting banners down to free up inventory space because I can. And then we'll, we'll go get our... No, no, get out of that. We'll go get our souls and stuff. Pick up our map. Oh, my God. And the, not, not, oh, my God. A golden... Co what, what the orange Jesus? What the... I can't imagine that that's common. I'm going to let you wreck the world feeder because you do so much work. Now this farm just got... Oh, my God, another clever fish. This farm just got even worse in terms of, in terms of like, cash gen. Okay, because everything's spawning now. Faster. All right, we're done. We'll do this. We'll go pick up our crap. Uh, the bomb fish I'm going to get rid of. Get rid of that. Let's just jump down here and... Oh, my Jesus. That money, though. Um, who needs, like, 
who who needs late game events when you have a giant ass aquarium for cash? <laughs> I know I don't. I know I don't. I am so glad I built this. Look at a blindfold, a freaking quiver, vitamins, hooks. A freaking robot hat! Do you know how rare that is? Do you know how rare that is? RNGs is, what are you doing with your life? Okay, well, we'll put the clubber fish in here. That'll let me pick up stuff. That is rare. That is really rare. Get rid of that, so go the blindfold. Okay, we're out of here. We're done. We're done. No game. I give up on you, game. You're too kind. We're far too kind. In in the wrong areas, but you're still too kind. So let's sell some stuff to Dante. Uh, Dante, I don't think I have one of these yet. So hold off. I know I have a Toxicarp. Obviously, I have one of those. This thing is basically just cash cash sink. Hey, some titanium. Awesome. Ooh, free spelunkers. That uh, calming potion. I mean, I'll keep because I've got a spot for it. Vitamins, garbage, that, garbage, a hook, garbage. Masturbate and mithril bars. Okay, gold crate. I get, I get it. I see how it is. Alright, well, quick stack basically all this stuff. I, again, I don't remember if I have one of those quivers. We'll, we'll check. I don't I don't recall getting one, but that's not to say that I don't secretly have one. I just haven't been paying attention. Quick stacking did not put it away. I'm looking just to see if I have something stupid like that, like a duplicate. We can just get rid of it real quick. So we'll get rid of you. Quick stack of that stuff. I'm going to throw bars. Did I hit a full stack? Well, golly gee willikers. Yes, I did. <laughs> Let's put the Nifflet bars over here. I think what we'll do is like change up some of the like the early hard mode stuff. We'll put it over here. Just later on, we'll, we'll manage that. I'm not really worried about it right now. But we'll store that stuff. Let's sell this because it's worthless. At this point, anyway. We already have it crafted into an item. Bye bye. Uh, holy arrows, hellfire arrows. So I think we're ready to go attempt the Moon Lord. We'll obviously use all of our buffs before we, before we fight him, while we fight him. I have to get the hang of talking to the nurse really quick, healing up. Shouldn't be too bad. Again, if we die, we lose the, the Moon Lord kill. We have to go do the, the Lunatic Cultist again and all the pillars, which is no biggie. It gives me an opportunity to farm for items again, which we will need regardless. But yeah, it, it, it kind of sucks because then you lose out on that chance to get the Luminate bars and you have to do the event again. Or you can summon them using fragments. But guys, it is time to wrap the episode up already. Episode 195. I, I, I just don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say about this. I don't even... I don't even too much loot. And of course, right over here where the uh, nebula or the solar pillar was, that's been taken care of. We got in the fragments. We can make some of the knickknacks. Uh, obviously, I'm going to wait till I get the luminite bars to make some decisions as to what we're going to make. I'm thinking vortex armor first because of the range bonus. That'll help me speed up kills. That'll help me survive. That's things we'll worry about later. But again, wrap it up here at 195. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.